Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a radio voice effect in Audacity. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is open up a track on your timeline or record some audio if you want to do it in that way. For me right now, I'm going to give a quick sample of what this is without any effects. And then I'm going to be showing you step by step how to turn this into a nice sounding radio voice effect. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Radio 1. My name is Scobie and today we're going to be making the best tutorial you've ever seen. You know, that guy sounds like he's on the radio and he's 100% right. This might be the best tutorial you'll ever see. No, but for real, I already have a pretty good sounding mic. So my mic already sounds somewhat professional of a radio level, but it's still not quite there. So from here, what you want to do is highlight the section of a track that you wish to turn into a radio voice effect or highlight the whole track by coming to the left and selecting the track or clicking control and A. From here, we're going to be going up to effect and we're going to be adding an equalization. So from here, I'm going to be using some default so I don't have to show you exactly how the equalization works, but it's basically for removing certain sounds at certain frequencies. So what we want to do is come down here to the bottom and we're going to be selecting a curve. And from here, most people would tell you to choose AM radio. For me personally, I don't really like how it sounds. It's not really a radio voice to me. So what sounds much better to me is the bass cut. So what I'm going to be using selecting the bass cut. And as you see, it's going to cut all of the low end of the sound up to about 200 Hertz. And then it's going to have a sharp rise up to the actual high end frequencies. So when I think of a radio voice, I think of a sound that's cut from the bass and just sounds nice and sharp and clean. Now, if we preview this by coming down to the bottom left and clicking preview, we'll give it a quick listen over to see if we need anything else on top of it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Radio 1. My name is Scobie and today we're going to be making the best tutorial you've ever seen. And as you can tell, it instantly gives that radio voice effect. Now what we're going to be doing is coming to the equalization and we're going to be coming to about 400 hertz. And I'm going to be increasing the decibel volume here by clicking a point and then just dragging it up to about the plus three decibel line. This is just going to help us sharpen it up a little bit more because I would like a little bit more sound on the high end. And we're going to be giving this one more preview over just to give it a listen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Radio 1. My name is Scobie and today we're going to be making the best tutorial you've ever seen. And you can tell it sharpens it up that little bit more to give it a little bit more of that like higher toned radio voice effect. So I'm going to be clicking OK on this and I'm going to be adding all that effect to our track. So from here, my track personally is still a little bit quiet. And if it is for you, what you can do is come up to effect and we're going to be going to amplify and it's going to be increasing the volume to the maximum amount without clipping. So just make sure allow clipping is off and audacity will cap it to the maximum amount it can go to. Click OK. And then you're going to be left with this perfect audio track that we're going to be listening over to to see how it sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Radio 1. My name is Scobie and today we're going to be making the best tutorial you've ever seen. And it's as simple as that to create a radio voice effect in Audacity. Of course you can go back into the curves and select an AM radio if you like the sound of that more. But for me personally it's not exactly what I'm looking for. But anyway guys if you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. If you want to suggest a video that I should make let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to get around to it. I'm also going to leave a link down below to my PayPal if you want to support me. Of course there's no pressure if you can't. Anyway guys thank you so much for watching. Until next time as always. Keep it saucy. Peace.